Hi Aries, this is Eileen with your September 2021 Psychic Tarot card reading. And we have a lot of good cards for September. Uh, you've got the World here, the Strength card, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Justice. I mean, it's good cards except for one negative here, Nine of Swords, which says some Aries might be worrying too much or not having a good night's sleep because you're worried about things going on. Uh, first card, now this is a general reading, so some of these cards may resonate with you while others do not. If I'm doing a private reading, then I'm just focusing in on your circumstances. And I am reading the meanings of the cards as well as tuning in on a psychic level. And so first you have the Ace of Wands. This is one of your cards, Aries. I'm an Aries too, so this is our card here. This is a really good omen to start the month with. This is about having a lot of enthusiasm and ambition and determination, getting something off the ground, getting something started and moving forward. So wands typically do relate to the area of career, work, progress, action. And so very uh, likely this has to do with some new venture you're starting or maybe a new job, new career. You might be starting a business of your own or you already might be self-employed, but you've got some new ideas, some new energy that's being fused into the situation for you to just run with it, you know, like you're on fire. So uh, this is real good enthusiasm and determination to achieve your goals. You already know a lot about this subject, whatever it is, where you are, your, what your craft is, what you'll be working and doing. You seem to have a really good handle on things and know what you're doing. So this might be some kind of work you've done for a long time. Or it might just be something you're knowledgeable about. I feel like for some Aries, whatever it is you're beginning, you have a lot of knowledge on one side of it, like two-thirds of it. And then maybe there's like one-third of it where there's some mystery still that you still need to find out about and learn about. But you will have all of it um, together as time goes by. You'll learn all, whatever it is that's missing, whatever the information is or additional training, information to gather, whatever it is, you're going to get all that. Sometimes it's just digging up information and finding out about things. Whatever it is, whatever it involves, that will come along. You've got a lot of strength and you even have the strength card here to just move forward with these goals, with this, this plan of yours. Um, this is a very good card for success, prosperity, achieving your goals, going after you, what you want and being strong about it, not being um, back and forth. You know, it's kind of like, okay, I'm going to do this and you're moving forward on it and just in a really strong manner. So uh, you're going to really... Um, accomplish things with this. And then you've got the world card right underneath this relating to success, worldly success and prosperity. And not only that, lots of creativity here going on. You've got justice. Ju um, this is another major arcana. How many majors do you have? You've got the justice, you've got the world, you've got hermit, strength, several major arcana cards. Lots going on for us Aries for September. I mean, and good stuff going on. <laughs> so um, the justice card, you see the scales of justice here. Things will be balanced and made right for you. So if you've been either having a specially challenging time where you feel like you've been at a disadvantage in some way, or maybe things got stagnant and stuck where you weren't moving forward, or maybe you were mistreated in one way or another, not treated fairly, whether this is at work or in some business situation, maybe on a personal level, the justice card showing up is saying you will have justice. Things will be made fair. And I mean, that's all any of us can ask for is fair treatment. This is showing being made, things being made fair. It may not be relating to, um, I'm trying to give an example. Um, let's say you were treated unfairly at your job. Well, it doesn't mean all of a sudden Oh, they're going to be treating you fairly at work. You might, in some other way, the universe might make it up to you and fix things and balance things for you that's going to balance it out one way or another. You might get a new job where you're being treated much better, paid more money, what you're worth, 
it's that type of thing. The universe is balancing things, so it, it doesn't always come about in the way we might expect. Now, also, if um, you're involved in some kind of legal matter at this time, this could bode well for you with the legal matter balancing out well for you with a lot of fairness here. So that's a real good, uh, another card of strength there. That's a uh, very good omen. Then you've got the King of Cups. And the cups do relate to the water signs of Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Now, King of Cups is someone who lives a prosperous, successful life. So he's worked, you know, and achieved a lot. I mean, maybe he's just been lucky, too, a lot of times. Maybe he, uh, I mean, he might have been born very prosperous or something. He's accustomed to living well and has been for years. That's what I'm getting from this King of Cups. So in some cases, maybe he earned everything he has, but in other cases, maybe inherited or married into it or whatever. I, I don't know. Uh, one, one something. Whatever it is, he lives a good, prosperous life. I'm feeling like this could be someone who could be around you romantically in September. And he's not a workaholic. Maybe he has been at certain times, but he does not identify with being a workaholic. A lot of Aries typically can identify with being a workaholic because um, Aries are just very busy. We, we are hard-working people, especially if there's just responsibilities or things that have to get done. I mean, Aries can be tireless. I mean, you just go and go and go when it's something important and you need to get it done. Whereas this King of Cups character, I feel like he's, you know, he makes a habit of not being a workaholic, although at times he may have had no other choice. But that's, and he hasn't had to be. That's why I wonder if maybe in some ways he's had, you know, inherited money or something, whatever it is, or just been very fortunate in investments or something. So, but for some Aries, if you're single, divorced, whatever, this King of Cups could be around you, attracted to you, flirting with you, maybe joking around, teasing you. He's going to be, find you very attractive when he sees you. You might meet this person. Maybe he could be in the workplace. He might be a manager, an owner where you work, or he could be uh, owner business that you go to. It could be anything like that. He might be divorced because he has had serious relationships before. But he's free. He's free now. He's either divorced or he's single or whatever it is. And he wants to play. He wants to have fun. And so if this is you, for you, Aries, and you're single, divorced, whatever, you're available. Um, and you recognize this person around you, either socially or in a business climate or whatever it is. And he seems to be flirting with you and watching you. I mean, he would be a lot of fun. I'll say that. He wants to have fun. He doesn't want to be real heavy and serious and talk about the worst things going on in the world right now. He wants to enjoy life, you know, be merry. And so, and that's nice. That's nice to get into that frame of mind because there's always so many things to be serious about. And in some cases, this might be you embracing the feelings and emotions of the King of Cups in September. So that could be you, but I am getting a lot of romance here. So if it is you, you might be looking for romance and finding yourself drawn to someone that you're very intrigued and attracted to. But I'm feeling for a number of Aries, this is somebody around you or who will be around you. And I feel like this is not even confined just to September. I'm feeling this is someone who could just somehow float into your life anytime in the next couple of months. It's almost like they were meant to come into your life. You, you know what I'm getting for some Aries? Because I might be just speaking to certain Aries and reading certain people here with this. It's almost like you and Aries, this is our trait. We're serious. We like to joke around. But a lot of times we're very serious minded about all of our responsibilities. The work that has to be done. Physical work, whatever kind of work it is. We're, we're workers. And... So a lot of times we may not give ourselves enough time to play and have fun, even though we have a playful personality. I feel like for some Aries, this guy is coming into the picture for you. He's almost like heaven sent. It's like to help lighten you up, to get, hey, okay, leave the serious stuff at home. Let's go have some fun. You know, let's, let's be festive. Let's be merry here for a little while here and there and have some fun and celebrate the good things in life. That's what I'm getting for some Aries. That's what his purpose might be in your life. I don't even know if you'll spend your life with him. 
you might just end up remaining really good friends with this person, might have kind of a romance going on, and then maybe it ends up being just a, a good friendship. Or it could be a nice romance where you're good friends and romantic partners. Whatever it is, he's good news, okay? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles here. Ace of Pentacles, another good success card. Like this Ace of Wands, you're going after your dreams, your goals. Ace of Pentacles, another good omen about your plans, your goals, your work, whatever you're going after that it's going to pay off for you. You might already totally be aware of this right now. You might already be getting some kind of profits or making money from this or getting adding to your own stability at the moment. But if not, you you it's like you know enough about this subject, this business, whatever it is, that you can feel secure within yourself. You know there's money to be made and you know it's something you're good at or that you will be good at. You know enough about it. You might know a lot about it for some areas and for others, like I'm saying, you might know two thirds of it and one third of the information you're missing, but you'll get that as you're moving along. You're not letting that slow you down and you'll succeed. Um, you got strength here. You've got the world over here. World card is, um, this is just success being prosperous, being successful, and I get so much creative energy from this card. I love this. Um, I, I just feel like for a number of areas, you might be involved in some type of um, the arts of some kind. It might be theater, music, dance. It might be performing. It might be, um, it, it might be just the way you do your work that you're very artistic. You might paint, draw, make things. Or even if you're more in a, a corporate environment, you might just be really creative about the way you're accomplishing your goals and doing things and thinking and um, and working. But I'm feeling for a number of areas, you have a nice career for yourself doing something that comes from your heart and soul. And I feel like right now, for some areas, you're making some money at this, but not enough. So you might have another job or, you know, or feel like, okay, I need to do more of this because it's not what I, it's what I like to do, but I need to do more of it to bring in more money, more prosperity. It's like you're on that path, which is good. You're in the right place. And then with this extra infusion of energy and, and ambition, um, I mean, the fire, you know, it's going to really help give you that extra boost that you need because you know it make whatever this activity is that this creative endeavor of yours you know it makes you feel alive from the inside from your heart and soul and that tells you that's what you're meant to be doing anyway and maybe you're meant to be doing other things too but this is among them this creative energy of yours it's putting that out there into the world and t fully expressing yourself and that's what it's showing here, Aries, that a lot of you are on that path right now. And I mean, even if it takes a while for you to fully be doing that, maybe you're doing some other job too or whatever it is or going to school or something. This, again, a really good omen that you're on the right path. You'll get there. And then I've got nine of swords here. This is talking about some Aries worrying, maybe laying awake at night worrying about worst case scenarios. I'm feeling for some Aries, this is a work situation where you've got some hostile people around you at work making you feel like you're not good enough or you're not one of them. Well, you're definitely not one of them. I'll tell you that. And you wouldn't want to be. These are some hard kind of people. They're um, miserable. They like to gripe and they feel like there's some anger issues there they have. And they see you as being different. They don't see you as being hardcore and tough like they are and miserable. And Aries can be very hard and very tough. We can be that way when we need to be, but we don't want to be that way. <laughs> we like just being happy and being positive, having a positive attitude and all that. And you're very sensitive. You're feeling very sensitive. And, and Aries are sensitive. We, you know, we feel things in our heart and soul. We're very sensitive. And so they are hurting your feelings and they're making you just feel so vulnerable. I'm wondering if maybe you're feeling your job is in jeopardy or, or it's just so difficult to work in this environment. It kind of like monopolizes your whole life because then it's like you don't want to go back to work when you're not doing well around people when they're giving you a bad time. And you really don't belong in this environment. So the advice here is try to 
find a way to quietly start making your plans to ex extricate yourself from this situation. You deserve much better than this. Now, in some cases, it might be a different scenario you're worried about. It's just showing some Aries maybe not sleeping well, maybe just worrying about the worst case scenarios happening in your life. It might be financial difficulties you're having. It could be um, health problems. It could be family situations, neighbors harassing you. I mean, it's so many different scenarios out there for different people. And um, you are protected. You need to really, I feel like you're very pure of heart. And you need to remind yourself when you're in any kind of circumstance like this, that's not where you belong. You belong in a place where you feel comfortable and secure. So you need to start thinking about where would that be for you? What would be your next step? And then be quietly making your plans to extricate yourself however which way you can. But also, if you notice, the swords are not touching the person. So this is talking about maybe just things are exaggerated in your mind because you're feeling so sensitive to it right now. But still, I mean, who wants to live that way, you know? <laughs> okay, so there's there's a better way for you. Um, next, you've got the Hermit, and this is another great major arcana card here with the Hermit. This is showing that you have gained a lot of wisdom over your lifetimes. In this lifetime now and in your previous lifetimes, you've gained a lot of wisdom. And you have, and you need this wisdom with you, whoever's going through this Nine of Swords energy. Because like I said, it's a general reading. So this card might only resonate with certain people. Um, but you need that wisdom. When you listen to your own inner guidance, you can feel at peace and know that you're safe. And I, whenever, if I feel like I'm being really in a bad situation, I'm always talking to my guardian angels and God and asking for protection too. But the hermit is showing your wisdom here. And so you're moving along on your path, listening to your own inner guidance. So some areas you might be doing a little more introspection in the month of September. You might be meditating, spending some time alone, which is good. It's valuable time because there's so much noise going on in the world at all times that people want to inundate you with all the um, who knows whatever's going on in the news that's nothing but a nightmare nowadays anyway listening to that so uh, I'm pretty much giving up on all that myself now I just feel like you know if there's a meteor hitting the earth or something I'm sure I'll hear about it but other than that I don't want to know about the day by day stuff it's just too heavy um, anyway the hermit is saying that you're going within in the month of September. This following your own inner guidance. So you don't need other people to be telling you, oh, you should do this, you should do that. You can listen to your own inner guidance. And so, and definitely if you're in this Nine of Swords situation, which some are, many aren't, listen to that inner guidance to guide you to a better situation for yourself because there's guidance there when you're quiet and listening for it and the more peaceful you can feel when you're worried and fearful you, it's blocking your inner guidance but this is showing you've got that wisdom to rely on you don't need to listen to the crowds whatever they're saying at you you know or follow the crowd you can follow on stay on your own path and this will lead you to the greatest harmony for you, the best life for you, which you can have. And you've got the world want, saying this is for you. This is what you're supposed to have now. And so uh, this is a really good card here. I like this hermit card because we all need to follow our own inner guidance and listen for it and have those quiet times in nature or um, just times to meditate, whatever it is, or just be peaceful, listening to some really peaceful, pleasant music, and just be quiet and peaceful, and see what's what comes to you for your guidance, you know. And then you've got the Strength card, and another major Arcana Destiny card, saying you've got all this inner strength right now. So, you can follow through on what you know needs to be done. So this is a great card to have alongside the Hermit as you're following your path. If you feel like you're being pressured by others 
to conform to them, you know, do like they do, whatever they're doing. Uh, it's like in the old days, they would say, well, if your friends jump off a bridge, are you going to do the same? You know, it's kind of like listen to your own inner guidance, your own wisdom. And the strength card is saying that you will have the strength to stand by what you know is right for you and your life in the month of September and going forward. Also, strength is saying that you're going to be making a really good impression on people in September, whether this is in business or in your personal life. You will come across like you're very, like you have this knowing about whatever it is you're talking about, this knowledge you're coming from. So if you're in the workplace and you want to get your point across, you want to apply for a promotion or if you're applying for a new job, you're going to come across like you're very knowledgeable, like you're confident within yourself. like um, And also you're going to appear more attractive to people in September too, which will make them want to listen to you and watch you even more. So um, this would be a good time for either applying for a promotion or changes that you think would be great changes to make at work and get your ideas across, maybe applying for new jobs, or also because people will be interested in what you have to say. They're going to take you seriously. So if there have been times where they kind of brushed you off and treated you like you, that you don't know what you're talking about, you're not important enough to listen to, this strength card is saying by the end of September, people are going to look at you in a different light. And I feel like you're going to be feeling better about yourself. So you might make yourself look more attractive. You might just be looking better and walking more confidently, you know, carrying yourself in a more confident, self-assured manner. And that will project this inner knowing and confidence uh, to people and I feel like that's what they'll be re reacting to also. So um, this can also help you in your personal life, in your romantic life. If there's someone you've been involved with and dating somebody and everything's going well but they're kind of evasive about what the plans are. You know they don't really give you any hint about plans for the future of any kind but they've just it's just been pleasant seeing them. You might feel more confident about um, maybe asking them what, you know, do they want a long-term commitment or are they just looking for some fun right now, whatever it is, because you might feel like you don't want to be with someone who just wants a temporary person to spend time with and, just, and then move on. But may, whereas earlier, maybe you would have not wanted to come out and say too much, but you're going to be feeling more confident about even speaking up. In that area because for you you're not going to be looking at it like you're being needy you're going to look at it or desperate for somebody you're going to look at this like i don't want to waste my time you know if you just want to have a little fun a little fling for a month or so and then move on i don't want to waste my time i've got better things to do you're going to be in that mode instead so um <laughs> and i'm looking at this king of cups which i was saying looks like he wants to have fun and be festive and have a good time i, I wouldn't pass him up <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's a good, he, he's fun. He would be fun for you, Aries. So, okay. So there's some good cards here. Now this deck I've been using, this is the Gilded Tarot by Shiro Marchetti. Next, what I want to do is pick one card from Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck. And if you like my videos, be sure and subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, check your rising and moon signs as they're coming available in case something resonates with you with those. And uh, feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. So Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, what is your message for Aries for September? What's your message for Aries? Let me fan these out for the month of September. Oh, wow. I like this. Okay. Blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. Oh, I love it. Blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. I love it. Like I said, I'm Aries too. My birthday is March 22nd. Okay, next I've got the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Radley Valentine. So be thinking of a question or a situation that you might like an answer for or some feedback or insight into guidance, whatever it is. While I shuffle the Angel Answers deck. 
Okay, angels, what is your message for Aries for the month of September? Let me go ahead and fan these out. Okay, let's see. This says a year from now. Well, I don't know if you're waiting for something a year. From the, the months go by fast. They fly by. Look, we're going to be at the end of the year before we know it. Um, I don't know if that's answering your question or not. Uh, look at those gorgeous colors. I love the golds and purples and whatever's in there. They're beautiful. Okay. Next, let's see. I'm going to pick one card from um, Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. So, Angels, what is your message for Aries for the month of September? What's your message for Aries for September? What is the message for Aries for the month of September? Okay, I'm going to give it one more shuffle and fan these out. Okay, let's see here. This is Angel Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. I love this mess. We've got some good messages here. Angel Serena, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Love it. All right. And then last, I'm going to pick one from Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. I think Josephine Wall is the, um, I'm pretty sure she's the, the artist on these. Okay. All right. So let's see. So what is your message for Aries for the month of September? What is your message for Aries? Or seven. Oops, sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud for Aries. Let me pan these out and let me pick one of these. These are kind of thick cards. They stick together. Oh, here we go. All right. Okay. This says new experiences and possibilities. Number 18, I'll look it up too. I just love the artwork in these. I don't know if you can see it very well. She's on a horse. In a tree, is that a creature at the bottom of the tree? There's just so much going on in these in these cards. Anyway, let me look this up. Number 18, new experiences and possibilities. Let's see, let me get the book here. Okay, number 18. Here it is. New experiences and possibilities. Look around in nature. Notice the new beginnings, new experiences, and new choices being shown to you. They will only be evident to you if you take the time to look for these subtle messages. You are on the first steps along a new path. You are being offered a blank page. What are the first words you would like to write on it? Your possibilities are endless. You are in complete control of your life. This is a new beginning on your journey. Live in the present and trust in your own abilities. Plant your seeds and willingly venture into new territory. I love that. I love that message. That's a great message to end on. Okay, Aries. Well, happy September. What, what do we have for a holiday? Is that Labor Day in September? Happy Labor Day if you celebrate that. And uh, check your rising moon sign videos. Feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Have a wonderful September. We have so much good energy going on here for September. Don't let it go to waste. And uh, we'll talk again soon.